Hey everybody, Jody Ganzik here, back for a quick video, probably the shortest one in the uh, history of the channel. Remember a couple months ago I came out and I said, all right, wouldn't it be cool? And I did this whole fake walk thing and I, I walked in and I'm like, you could walk up to your light. Maybe this was through like Bluetooth or, you know, iBeacons, which isn't a thing yet, but you could walk up to your light and be like, oh, I want to change the, you know, I faked it on my wrist and so forth. Well, you know, normally we think of, you know, changing um, with these smart bulbs and this has got a Philips Hue bulb. This is not, this is the old, good old um, Cree. Now, of course, I could come into my phone, whether this is on iOS or Android, and I could come over here and I could just, you know, turn it off, right? Simple as that. Um, but what if I, I have such a first world problem that I just cannot be bothered to take the phone out of my pocket? So I could simply go to the watch and now um, for, you know, Yes, Android Wear users have had this for quite some time, and now us here, um, and actually I want to give a shout out to my friend Dave Cathy. Um, you can follow him on Twitter if you want to, David Cathy, all one word, uh, C-A-T-H-E-Y. Up oh, there goes my phone with an email from somebody. Um, but, uh, and he's, he got his watch first because he got the one that's the traditional um, silver uh, sport. Uh, and mine, of course, is the dark, uh, the space gray, so I'm not getting it for a month. So thank you to him for letting me demo it on his Apple Watch. So I can go into one of the Hue apps and simply control it. So, hey, I just want to make it, uh, or better yet, I just want to turn it off, right? So, boom, there it is. Now, one of the things that this app happens to be the uh, Light Switch app, which is pretty cool. It's another app that um, I thought was going to work pretty well, but it crashes. Um, I think that was Hue Control. Um, I have to be sure, but I'll, I'll tell you about it later in the end. Uh, we'll put it in the, the notes of which one didn't work. So here I can turn it back on and um, and then here is, uh, this app is kind of cool. I'll show it to you. It's backwards, but uh, anyways, this app has a little bit of a palette so you can jump from one color to the next. And I think that's important for the Apple Watch or any kind of wearable device because if you're going to be, a, if you're going to have it on your wrist, you're not supposed to interact with it for more than a few seconds. And of course, you could go back to white. And I can uh, make it, uh, you know, if I do this correctly. Come on. No, I didn't want to force touch. This is uh, technology um, that doesn't work all the time, and it's not working so well. So, anyways, this you can tell this is really a live demo. Um, if I go to the uh, the Hue, the official Hue app, I can do um, well not so much. All I get is the ability to uh, say from the phone what scenes I want it to appear. So I could go to say a nice sunset scene which is a little more red than you would want and uh, oh I could go to a nice deep blue ocean scene which is cool but uh, not very useful and I can't you can't actually control the lights directly through the actual Philips Hue watch app. Philips Get your act together. What are you doing here? You're killing me. So I could go back here, of course, to the other one and go back to white. And I can dim it. Um, uh, I guess it worked. Dave can say that, yes, it worked at one point, right? Dave, he's yes, nodding right. his head, yes, in the back. Um, uh, but apparently I can't make it work on video. So anyways, this is a quick demo. The Apple Watch has arrived. You can control your lights. You can control your nest. You can control a lot of things. August, which I have an August smart lock. They don't have their app yet. Why would you actually need to do that? Um, from your wrist, probably be helpful instead of digging your phone out, waiting for the thing to connect, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to be uh, continuing to watch this stuff, obviously the space, uh, wearable space, and as we have more products and a little more of a, a review that can come out, and once I get my own Apple Watch, maybe write my own app that I can make these things better and more controllable, that uh, that's what we're going to do. So. This is your little uh, Apple Watch moment of Zen with uh, Hue lights. Obviously, this is going to work with pretty much most of the Hue products, not just the good old uh, what's under here is uh, simply the original A19 bulb. So you can see that, but it's going to work with all of the different Hue products, including the ones that don't do color changing. And again, the Hue app, the Hue system is a little bit on the pricey side. It's not for everybody, but if you have it, and you have an Apple Watch or an Android Wear uh, watch, you should be able to do everything from your wrist now. So that's it. I'm Joe DeGanzik, and uh, you can, of course, uh, here's all the social media things that you can follow uh, Lighting Answers at. Uh, be sure to subscribe um, so you get all the different episodes. We're going to have uh, lots of cool stuff coming out with new reviews of products and some collaborations coming out. 
in the next couple weeks or months. And uh, that is about it. Check us out. Um, it is youtube.com slash lighting answers. I'm Joe Ganzik and I will talk to you next time.